on Christmas Eve, we often read in our church the Luke version of the story of Nativity. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the lectionary also offer other texts, and one of them is from the First Testament, is um, a passage from the book of the prophet uh, Isaiah. And in this text, it begins with a very uh, powerful statement that says, The people who walk in the darkness have seen a great light. We don't know exactly who are those people who walk in the darkness, but I'm sure we can all relate, especially with the news that we have seen in the last few days and hours. Uh, all those uh, stories about murders, about terrorist attacks, it <laughs> they almost made us forget about the uh, the danger of climate changes that we were talking just a few days and weeks ago. And we have this feeling that no matter what, darkness is constantly surrounding us and there's not much we can do to change this. We try to make a way in our life, we try to walk in this darkness to make the best of it, but it's very difficult. It's like waking up and starting walking in the middle of the night and constantly hitting ourselves through walls or furniture in our place. And the prophet says, yes, I know, darkness is there. But you know what? The people have seen a great light. And joy, because of this light, joy have increased, oppression have been broken, and um, the tools, the object associated with war have been burned. Peace is possible. And all of this is possible because a child has been born to us. It seems to be something very mundane, like a simple child to change all the darkness in our world. But if you had this experience, have a young baby in your arm, or if you have seen someone holding a baby, you see that there's something special. It's not just holding an object. That person brings something special. There's a special relationship. And, and when you hold a baby, regardless if it's yours or not, or, or not there's often this question that comes in your mind. Is he or she, what he or she will become later? Will this child be like a wonderful counselor, an everlasting father, a new prince of peace? And all those questions and the relationship that we develop with these, child, these children bring lives in our, in our lives bring light also in our lives. And there's no coincidence that Christmas is celebrated on December the 25th. It, historically, it's, it's almost impossible to determine if it really happened on that day. But I think the main reason is because it's after the winter solstice. And it's the first days when daylight start to be longer and start increasing. And this child that came to this world, yes, did not abolish all darkness in our world. There's still darkness. There's still evil people. There's still war. Yes. But this child find a way to push back the boundaries of darkness, to push back darkness and make more place for all of us for light to enter in our lives. Because of this child, we can see more clearly around us. We can walk, we can follow our journey with a little more assurance, a little more confidence, and we can see this light help us to see the presence of God in this world. 
this child has done something amazing. And that's, that's the incredible story of Christmas. One single child changed everything, changed the course of humankind. And that is in itself something to celebrate every year. Well, that's all for me. Thank you once again to, for watching this. I hope you will have a blessed Christmas. We will see each other in the new year. And until then, I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermet, and take care of yourself and enjoy this time of the year. Bye-bye.